today our topic is C implementation of Euler's method. Before learning this video, please learn previous part of this video where we already discussed about one mathematical example of Euler's method. And today we will learn the C implementation of Euler's method. In our previous video, we already solved this problem. Please consult our previous video. Find y 2.2 using Euler's method from the equation dy dx equals to minus xy square with y2 equals to 1. So, it is initial value problem and the value y2 equals to 1 is given and this is the formula for Euler's method. So, what is x0? It is 2. What is y0? It is 1. So, let n equals to 4. Let h equals to. So, what is h? h is 2.2 minus 2 divided by 4. So, h is 0 0.05. Now, this table. In this table, there are 4 columns. So, how many number of intervals are there? 4. So, n values are 1, 2, 3, 4. So, what is x1? It is x0 plus 1 into h and after giving the value x0 as 2 and h as 0 0.05, I get the value x1 as 2.05. In this way, what is x2? x2 equals to x0 plus 2 into h. After calculation, I get the value. Then x3, x3 equals to x0 plus 3 into h. After calculation, I get the value and then x4 x4 is x0 plus 4 into h and after calculation I get the value. Next column, what is y1? y1 is y0 plus h into minus x0 y0 square. So, y0 is 1, x0 is 2, y0 is 1 and h is 0 0.05. After calculation I get the value. Next time, what is y2? y2 is y1 plus h into minus x1 y1 square and after calculation I get the value. So, what is y1? y1 is 0 0.90. What is x1? x1 is 2.05 and what is h? It is 0 0.05. So, after calculation I get the value. In this way, I have to get the remaining rows value. Now, see this one is y2. So, what is y1 plus 1? n is 1 here. So, here it is y2. What is y2? y2 is 0.81697. I am writing this value here. Now, next time, what is y3? y3 is y2 plus h into minus x2 y2 square. So, y2 is this value, h is 0 0.05 and x2 is 2.10. So, after calculation, I get the value and I have to write this value here in the place of y3. And next time, this is the value for y4 and after calculation, I get the value and this is our result. Now coding. So, this is our code. There is one function. Function name is f. Return type is float and two arguments are there. They are also float x and y. What is the body of the function? Body of the function is our equation minus x y square. But if the problem is different, if the equation is different, then you have to write that equation here within the body of the function. This is void mean. There are some float variables. Now take the values of x0, y0, x and n. So what is x0? It is 2. What is y0? It is 1. What is x? It is 2.2. And what is n? n is total number of intervals. It is 4. First take this value from the user. So what is h? h is x minus x0 divided by n. So x minus x0 divided by n. So, h is 0 0.05 after calculation. And what is x0? It is 2. What is y0? It is 1. I am storing value of x0 to the variable x and value of y0 to the variable y. Now, I start one for loop and this for loop will execute how many number of times? From 1 to n means this for loop will execute 4 times. So, from the formula of Euler's method, see y equals to y plus h into f x comma y. So, y equals to y plus h into f x comma y and what is next x? Next x is x plus h. So, next x is x plus h. In this way, after executing the for loop, when I print the value of y, I get the result. Now, it's time to run our program. Supply the value of x0, y0, x and n. So, what is x0? It is 2. What is y0? It is 1. What is x? It is 2.2. What is n? It is 4. 
So after calculation, I get the result y2.2 equals to 0.686924. So I get the result. So the output of this problem is 0.686924. So this is your programming assignment, write a C program to implement Euler's method. For getting more and more updates, please, please like, share and subscribe my channel. That's all for today. Thank you.